everyone, it's Sammy. This is going to be a vintage collaboration. Um, several months ago, I think, me and um, Jen from A Vintage Vanity, I'll put a link to her channel below, decided to do a collaboration tutorial. She does a lot of hair tutorials. She does a lot of vintage hair tutorials and vintage sewing tutorials. Um, and as she'd seen my channel and knew that I did vintage makeup tutorials, well, amongst others, but I love vintage makeup tutorials, so we decided to collaborate on a look. And we went back and forth trying to decide on who we wanted to do, and we decided to do Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind, so Vivian Lee. And um, if you haven't seen the movie, it is one of my all-time favorite movies. It is so romantic. I love it. I love Scarlett and Rhett Butler's romance. And I think for me, it's special because when I was a child, we lived, for a couple of years, we lived in the southern states. We lived in Atlanta, Georgia. So I, um, for me, it has a special place in my heart. I think, um, so it's a movie set in the Civil War era uh, in America. And uh, it's a really long movie. So if you haven't seen it, you know, maybe watch it in two, two sittings or something, or, you know, make an afternoon of it. But, um, so Jen is going to do the hair part of this tutorial. Um, I managed to do little bows for this. I know that she is going to do them. So the makeup is super simple. So Vivian Lee's makeup, or Scarlett O'Hara's makeup, is really strong brows. Then we're gonna do tons of individual fake lashes. Don't go for a strip because it kind of, it is an innocent look as such. So you don't wanna, you know, go too overboard. Flush cheeks and a, red lip, but this red lip is kind of like a um, coral red. I searched for the lipstick that I'm going to use for ages to get the right shade and I'm really happy with what I found. Um, so it's a lot more wearable than maybe um, for you guys that are a little bit afraid of really bright reds or really dark or plummy tones that, uh, that are all out there right now. This version is a lot more wearable, I think. So, uh, so the actual look is super simple. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something really important and I totally forget. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we can just get started with the tutorial and if I remember, I'll let you know. So for my foundation, I'm going to use the Ilan Masca Skin Base Foundation and I am using SB 6.5 and the reason why I really like it for a retro look is this has super high coverage. Um, and it still manages to look kind of natural. I mean, I like it for all sorts of looks, but for this is especially great. And I'm using the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, and I'm just gonna buff it into the skin. And then I'm gonna let this set into the skin and we're gonna do the eyes. I'm gonna start with my MAC Painterly, and I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply it all over the eyelid to give an even base. These nails, by the way, have nothing to do with Scarlett O'Hara. These are L'Oreal stick-ons that I was playing with this morning. So, sorry about the not matching nails. Then I'm gonna take Mac Brulee, and this is the Inglot, what is it? 19P brush, and I'm going to Put that all over kind of my brow bone area. This is pretty much almost exactly the same tone as my skin, so I really don't need to be careful in blending it out. Then I'm going to take an ever so slightly darker colour. This is MAC Malt, and I'm going to put that on the moving part of the eyelid. I'm just going to keep using the same brush, there's no need to change. You could use the same colour, like, for the whole hi eyelid, for the whole eyelid, um, but I just kind of prefer to change it for this one because it's ever so slightly darker. Then I'm going to take MAC Wedge, and this is, um, this is an Ila Masca brush, but annoyingly it doesn't have any kind of numbers. This is, um, I suppose, the equivalent to a MAC 217, and we're just going to do the crease lightly. This isn't a heavy kind of crease look, so just do kind of windshield wiper movements lightly on the crease. 
and really blend well. We're just creating a little bit of depth, not really like a visible crease. And then I'm going to take the Louise Young 18 brush and just run the same MAC, is it wedge? Yeah, MAC wedge under the lash line. Again, you're not kind of lining, you're just creating more of a shadow. Then instead of doing a traditional eyeliner, I'm going to use an Estee Lauder Pure Color uh, Intense Eyeliner, and this is in black, and I am going to line in between the lashes so really kind of smudge your color in between all of the lashes it looks gross i know but then curl your lashes and really kind of get them in there really well and then what i like to do is i like kind of like bend them out i know it looks really gross it looks very clockwork orange actually but it's a good way to give them a really nice curl and then I'm going to take my Maybelline Falsies, Maybelline Falsies Volume Express, and I'm going to do the first quote, the uh, quote, I wish I could speak today, first coat of mascara. So that's the first coat of mascara. Then I'm going to take some fake lashes, I'm going to use a couple of different lengths, uh, individual fake lashes, because I want the result to be, well, obviously, <laughs> You want the result to be natural. I mean, it's going to be overstated, of course, but as natural as possible. So I'm going to start mixing up the lengths and I'm going to do the whole length of the lash line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the longer ones kind of in the middle. So it's really going to open up the eye. So I'm going to take a couple of shorter ones actually first. So what I do is I just put the glue on the back of my hand, dip the end of the lash, So try and get the lashes as close to your natural lash line as possible. So the other tray that I'm using, the other one is 13 millimeter um, lashes and this one is 9, 10 and 11. So it's really good to get these trays, uh, this one is from Paris Berlin, um, but trays with different length lashes so you get much more kind of, well not natural results necessarily, but you know. Um, kind of a more varied result. Then I'm gonna apply a um, coat of mascara. And at this point, once you've applied individual lashes, it's good to kind of put your finger behind your lashes so that you don't pull them out. This way, the lashes will be kind of protected when you're applying mascara. And then if you really want extra volume for your top lashes, I'm going to put another mascara on top. This one is the Ilha Mascara Even. However, you don't need to use this mascara. It's just about layering two different mascaras on top of each other that really plays up the volume um, with your mascaras. I don't know what it is exactly, why it does it, because this seems to work for most mascaras and remember to use a wet wipe to wipe your finger so that you don't get um, the mascara everywhere that's happened to me several times so I went ahead and applied mascara on my bottom lashes as well and then I'm going to line the inside of my eye first at this point it's good to make sure that you don't have any of that liner transferred from the top so I tend to take a q-tip and then clean my waterline with it. Sometimes I take a little bit of Bioderma if there is actually a bit of stubborn liner there. The MAC, this is the Chromographic Pencil in NC15 NW20 and this is an amazing pencil and I'm just going to do the inside of my waterline just to open our eyes up even more. Then onto the brows. I'm going to use a MAC brow set in Beguiled and brush my eyebrows down first. This is so that I can really see where I want to draw the arch. 
I like brushing them down with this because it has kind of a wax on it so it really stays down. And then I'm going to take uh, MAC Concrete and I'm going to, this is the Anastasia kind of duo end brush. And then I'm going to start drawing the arch. Scarlet has great, well had great eyebrows and she drew them more arched and less arched. Um, depending on, I guess, the movie and the era. I'm gonna go for, I guess, a medium arch. So when you brush your eyebrows down, you can really see where you want the arch to go. And then I'm just going to flip this brush around and brush my brows up. And then I'm going to continue filling them in. Under the eyes I'm just going to use my Garnier Roll-On. There isn't that much of a like very clever trickery under the eyes so I'm just going to put a little bit on and blend it with my MAC 224. Then I'm going to powder using my Makeup Forever, um, which one is this? This is the Super Matte Loose Powder, and I can never make up forever. Oops, sorry. Make up forever the way they um, number and name things. It's just really crap, so you never really know what you're using. I'll put it below. And I'm using my Inlot 4 SS brush. And I'm just going to powder the whole face. Then for the cheeks and lips. I'm going to use MAC Emphasize. This one is, um, so it's a contour color, and it was one I have, well I actually have two of these. One which is a pro product, this is from the D Square palette. Uh, but any kind of MAC contour product is fine. And I'm going to use the MAC 138. Mm, and I'm just going to go under my cheekbone. So Vivian really had a heart shaped face, so I'm actually going to shade just the top part of like just a little area just there to make my face ever so slightly more heart shaped. Mine really isn't that much. Well, the rest of the face could be, but I don't have that cute little thing up here. So kind of like so that it dips down here a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Eve Pearl fan brush and just use the highlighter color on this. The highlighter color is called Bone, bone beige, and just brush it on top of the cheeks. Not much. I think I'm just so used to using a highlighter that I feel bad if I don't use one. Uh, for the blush, I'm going to use a Deborah Milano color. It's in paprika, and it is a I would call this a raspberry red. Um, but on me, it kind of turns into just the color of being quite flush but this is an intense color so work slowly don't put too much on and I'm doing like my apple but ever so slightly above the apple and really blend it out she did have rosy cheeks so don't be too afraid of the color just work in layers Start slowly and then build it up. And then just a tiny bit on the temples. Maybe under the chin. You could use the emphasize for this as well. The lips are actually super simple. I thought about the lip color for a long time and I compared loads of colors and I ended up buying a new one. I felt like I did not have the perfect scarlet color. And I'm gonna be using a Too Faced lipstick and the color is Coral Fire. Um, and it is a red, but it is a beautiful kind of corally red, and I didn't have anything that I exactly really wanted, so I ended up getting uh, a new lipstick for the look, but I love the colour, so that's alright. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put on one layer of lipstick, then mine, and then put on another layer. So, oh, I'm just going to block with a tissue. The reason why I'm doing this is the liner that I'm using is actually quite dry 
Uh, and this is the Infallible Lip Liner, L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in, what is the color? Invincible Red, 711. But this is a dry lip color, so I prefer to have something on my lips before I start using it. And um, her lip line, she has a really defined cupid's bow, so what I'm going to do is really accentuate that. Also gonna fill in the lips a little bit. And then I'm just gonna apply the lipstick again. And that's all there is to it. So please check out uh, Jen's channel. It is a vintage vanity and um, I'll have the link to it below. And um, yeah, if you like this tutorial, let me know and uh, please rate, comment, subscribe and I will see you really soon. Thanks for watching, bye.